Hello my friends, Brian King here reporting from iPhone Central. I've been looking at a lot of the parent groups on Facebook that I belong to. And those groups tend to revolve around kids with specific challenges, whether it's ADHD or uh, oppositional defiant disorder. And one thing that I see coming up time and time again is this claim that they've tried everything. I've tried everything there is. I've read the books. I've done everything the therapist told me. Well, when you think about it, one thing that's important to remember is that all or nothing thinking is a door that slams right in the face of new options, okay? All or nothing thinking is an exaggeration. It's simply not correct. Because the reality is, if you actually tried everything, you would have the result you were looking for. What you've likely done when you've tried everything is you've tried everything within your skill set. And as you and I both know, none of us is good at everything. That's simply not how we're built. Human beings are not built to be a one-stop shop, a Swiss army knife for humanity that has every single skill under the sun. Okay? So when we say, I've done everything, there's nothing else to do, what you're basically doing is you are protecting your ego. This ego that says, I'm in charge, I should know everything, I should be the perfect parent, so if, there, if I haven't found the solution, there isn't one. That's what we call stinking thinking. It stinks to high heaven because it's made primarily of BS, okay? You haven't tried everything. When you think you've tried everything and you declare that you've reached the end of the line, you can't do anything, there's one consideration that you are not entertaining to the degree you need to, and that is asking for help. Admitting you don't know what to do. Admitting that maybe you applied the strategy that was recommended to you by a coach or a therapist or whatever, that you applied it in a way that allowed you to stay exactly the same way. Exactly the way that continues to cause the problem at hand. As opposed to growing into the strategy using the tone that was recommended. You know, using the patience that was recommended. As opposed to simply throwing it out there, saying that you did it right, it didn't change anything, and therefore you've tried everything and, you know, the advice stunk. Again, that's about protecting your way of doing things because you don't have to change, right? You don't have to change if you do it your way all the time. Often the recommendations that are made for us to help our child are also to help us grow. They're not simply to fix the kid as though the kid is the center of the problem. Our children don't live in a vacuum. They live in a family. They live in a parent-child dynamic. They live in a community. Change doesn't happen in a vacuum. It happens in a context. So we need to change along with our child in order to help them grow. You can't look at a flower that's sitting in the dark and saying, it's on you to grow. It's your responsibility. You need to buck up. Oftentimes, the environment needs to change too. So when you think you've tried everything, again, you haven't done everything if nothing's changed. You often have to look within and question that belief that you should know it all. You should be the perfect parent. You should be able to do it by yourself. Because when you say change is hard, oh, and that's Penny barking, by the way, she does that. When you say change is hard, that's another myth. Change isn't hard. What's hard is breaking through that belief that asking for help is a bad thing. That if you need help from somebody else, it means you failed. Failed at knowing everything. Failed at being independent. But pulling yourself up by your bootstraps. That's a BS belief in Western culture that causes us more problems than it solves. Okay? The reality is we live within a community. We need each other. There are people around us that know more than we do. And thank God for them. Because there are a lot of problems we would simply have to endure and resign ourselves to if we didn't have people around us who could show us the way out. So you haven't tried everything. 
you've tried everything you know. You've tried everything within your comfort zone. You've tried everything within your skill set. But you haven't tried the thing yet that works. And there's somebody out there who knows it. Okay? And you also haven't come up with a new belief that says, help is part of the human condition. Help is something that we all need. Help is something that we provide every day and receive every day. Yeah, my allergies are starting to kick in. Perfect timing. So I really want to encourage you to question that claim that you've tried everything. I want you to question that belief that if you ask for help, you have screwed up. Because the reality is you haven't tried everything. The reality is that you're on a treasure hunt. You've tried everything you currently understand to the best of your ability, not necessarily the way it was described to you, okay? So the next time you catch yourself saying, I've tried everything, say, wait a minute, have I tried everything? Or is there a chance I've missed something? Because there are parents out there that are getting better results than I am. So chances are they've tried something I haven't, or they tried something I have, but they've done it in a slightly different way, and I need to learn from them. I could talk about this for a long time, but I hope I've given you enough to get you started. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I hope this has been helpful to you. I'm going to go get some allergy meds, and I will talk to you again soon.